if I lose because you cheated, am I a loser, or are you just a tainted winner, or is it both? But why does it matter? It's nothing. Well, can, it's nothing if, can I, be done if about I lose, it. I want to lose on the up and up. But why, but it doesn't matter because you can't do anything about it. That, I understand. That's, that's I my just point. don't want to know. That's I my point. I, I, so many people spend so much time looking backwards as opposed to going forward that they get paralyzed in the past and they never achieve anything. Yeah, but they, I still think you could do both. How? Because I do both. Why we? Uh, you do, but you're a fan. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Athletes and teams. Well, I think athletes and and, and organizations who are I'll give you, an you example. know continually pressuring Roger Goodell, the Patsy, uh, to come down hard on the New England Patriots I'll give you a because example. I think they cheated back in 2003. Okay. So now I want to punish them in 2015. But that doesn't that, mean that they're not doing their due diligence for petty. the 2015 season. That's why I think you could do both. But I think I think they're not. I think it's compromised. No, I, no way. How, come how, on. How, how can you, as a as an owner, spend all of your time and you get these stupid, uh, you know, uh, reports about uh, this this powerful owner behind the scenes just pushing Roger Goodell. How can you be an owner and be focused on something that has zero impact on 2015, but it takes every bit of your effort to get to convince Roger Goodell to do something absolutely asinine uh, and, and take Tom Brady to federal court and lose and then still focus on your team? You can't. Sure you can. No, no, you can't. There's 24 hours at a day. I can compartmentalize, can compartmentalize my day yes. maybe more efficiently than somebody else. Uh, yeah, I'm not talking about no, you, No, no, I'm seeing you as a, as a reflection of society, owners, fa- everybody. I mean, why can't an owner be on the on the phone in a conference call for two hours, uh, you know, with, with you know passionately expressing why the Patriots are cheaters, but when he first wakes up, two hours he because spends with his GM be, surfing the waiver because, wire. Because Why can't you do both? Because it's pointless. No, it's not. You're, waste, you're wasting hours on something that you can't no, change. No, it's not. Not if there's a penalty. Not if a team gets hit with a first-round penalty next year. And then they're still going to beat you. And then the Patriots. Uh, you don't just, know that. That's uh, still got to play uh, out. Uh, history, Are the Pats going to win the Super Bowl his, this year? Guaranteed. History has played it out that the New England Patriots, who have been oh, in the it was AFC, their first Super Bowl in almost a decade, but Peach. they've been to the AFC Championship game three consecutive years. They've won six Super. Uh, uh, the uh, stats. And the, they've the, lost the, twice to the Giants. The stats, the stats speak for themselves, and I'm not. I'm not. You know, talking about the Patriots. I'm just talking about in general. It's a, to me. As someone who was a competitor, it is a waste of effort to worry about things that you cannot control. You absolutely cannot control them. What I can control is what happens tomorrow in front of me. I can't hap- I can't control what happened yesterday, right? When I went around the corner and, and, and ran a stoplight, and maybe a cop saw. I can't control that, right? But I can control how I go to that corner today and whether or not I run that light or not. I, I, you know on a I mean? very basic level, so, of course I agree with that so statement. To me, but I, to I me, think you simplify it too much, Deke. Because well, like you're a player, and a player doesn't have the responsibility. Responsibility to the organization that an Look, owner does. I, I also the was, owner's got to do I more was than an one thing. I was an athlete, and I was also a business student. And one of the the great principles of business: kiss, keep it simple, keep stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. So when you, we when all you, know when that. you spend so much effort and time, and now we're talking about freaking Spygate and let me again. Jump in for a second, we're talking though, about Spygate again. I hear really. You. I hear really? you. Really? I and can't I, even read it. I don't even care. I, I, I gloss over it <laughs> myself. At that. Listen, I'm not trying to say that I'm hung up on every word. I'm ready to start the season. In large part, I'm with you. The one thing, and, and not to belabor this, because I think everybody knows where we stand. The one difference, though, you just said, you know, you're as a former player. As a former player, you were responsible for one out of one fifty third of what transpired on game day. Yes. Your assignments, whether it's blocking, catching, running, whatever. Yeah. You were one of eleven on the field. So either one of one eleventh or one fifty third. Okay. Yeah. The owner and the GM has a broader responsibility, so they have to be able to do more than one thing. And at times, oh, I mean, that's, while that's, you may disagree course. with the premise, looking at the past but it can t- actually positively impact the future. But I, I just don't see that, especially when it's something petty and simple and, petty? and, 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 un- wait, wait, petty? and unprovable. Pet- wait, petty. Wait, hold on a second. So I'm going to read this for a sec, T. You ju- you're describing this as petty. I want to make sure we're on the same page. Inside a room accessible only to Belichick. I'm not talking about Spygate. I'm talking about Deflate Gate. Because some people the, don't the, view it as the, petty. The, Mark Brunel was crying the, like a twelve year old girl no, Mark, that got kicked out of a out of a concert. And now you respect him for that. I, I actually thought it was idiotic. <laughs> but he was a quarterback <laughs> who actually my, that's my point. That's my that's my point. But he's, the guy was a quarterback. But, but he's one of many. He's one of many. And, and then there was also a whole bunch of them that said this has no zero impact on mm-hmm. the game. As I had this conversation with my brother over the weekend, and, I, and, and how can something that benefits me that is not detrimental to you be considered a competitive advantage? How can something that benefits you 
Yes. But doesn't. But is not considered detrimental to you. So, for instance, if I like long cleats, and I'm going to wear long cleats because it just makes me feel like I'm gripping the ground. Gotcha. And I have a competitive advantage. Gotcha. And you say, well, I like short cleats. And so you wear short cleats because it just makes you feel lighter and mm-hmm. swifter over the ground. And say my long cleats are a, a three-quarter inch over the three limit. Quarter, exactly. Yep, yep, gotcha. And it, it, and. I don't know why. Does it really give me a competitive advantage? No. Well, I would it's, say it's, based on physics, it would. Based why? on the ability to stop, plant, recut, redirect. Yes. Yes. yes but you're, but in your mind, having the shorter cleats gives you that advantage. But they're within the realm of the rules. There are rules for a reason. Otherwise, we'd be the most lawless. But we are kind of low the sadly no. anyway. No. But when, what do we have rules for? Well, I mean, why do I have to go to break? I have to take a break every day at, what time is it again? So I was blown. Nine, 50, <laughs> nine, 55 minutes and 40 seconds, right, is the hard break, okay? Yes. Now, if I don't do it, I'm not going to get fired, although if I do it every day, I might. Uh, if I don't do it, I'm, I'm not going to get fined. But it's there as a guideline for all of our affiliates. It won't change the world adversely if I don't do it. But by doing it, I'm making life easier, and I'm, and I'm adhering to a rule. Mm-hmm. I mean, so it seems pretty basic, but it's there. Yes. I agree. Uh, But at the same time, every rule is skirted. Everyone. 